everyone. Welcome to Worthington Library's online story time. My name's Miss Jenny and I'm from Northwest Library and I thought I'd stop by and do another story time with you today. Today's theme is going to be just a fun story time. And when I think of fun, I think about you. I think about children. So today, instead of reading books about animals and things they do, I'm gonna read stories about children about different children, different things they like to do, different things they do. So today, let's start off with the song that we always start our story times out with, the more we get together. Do you guys remember the sign language for that? Let's go over it real quick, okay? And then we'll sing our song together. Okay, what does this sign mean? More, that's right. And when you put your fist together and you like stir a pot, what does that mean? Together, that's right. And what does this mean? Happy, that's right. Do you know what this means? Your. Do you know what this means when you hook your fingers together? Friends. And what does this mean? My. Very good. Okay, you ready to sing it with me? And moms and caregivers and dads out there, sing it with your babies too, because we want them to feel a part of this too. And remember, hand clapping is their first finger play. So as we sing, help them clap their little hands. But you know, also a sign they might be able to do is more. Okay, is everybody ready? All right, let's sing together, here we go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. All right, thanks guys for helping me with that. All right, ready for our first story? Well, our first story is about a little boy, and he feels different than all his friends. But you know, feeling different and looking different is not a bad thing. In fact, it can be very fun and a good thing, as we will see in the end of this story. The name of this story, I love this story, it's called Chocolate Me, and it's by Tay Diggs. And the pictures are by Shane Evans. And by the way, Tay and Shane are friends, and they have been friends since childhood. And it's kind of based on a true story about them. And I want to thank um, Square Fish Imprints, part of Macmillan Publishing Company, for publishing this book so I could read it to you. All right, are you ready? Here we go. Chocolate Me by Tay Diggs and illustrated by Shane Evans. Sitting on my stoop when I was five, not like Timmy or Johnny or even Mark, though I wanted names like theirs. <sighs> Chocolate me. Do you see what a shirt says? It says, be super. Oh, and look at, he has a dog. Do you guys have a dog? Kind of like me, because I have a dog. They often stared at my hair. Why do you look so scared? It's so puffy and big like a wig, not straight. Don't you hate to comb it? Oh, what do you think he's going to think? Oops, I skipped the page. Chocolate me. Hey, every time you see those words chocolate me, can you say those with me? As they pointed to my nose, I froze. It's so big and wide, I tried to hide. Do you know what his shirt says? Number one. Keep watching what his shirt says. <gasps> Number one, son. What does this say? Chocolate me. I squirmed and wiggled as they giggled at my teeth so white. <gasps> you can be our flashlight at night. Just smile and we'll be all right. What does he say? Chocolate me. Look at 
look how he's dressed. He looks like a superhero, doesn't he, with his cape? Aww. Well, when I came home from outside, I cried. Why? I asked my moms. Why can't I be more like Timmy or Johnny or Mark with straight hair and a different nose? I suppose my teeth wouldn't seem so bright if my skin were a bit more light, right? Chocolate me. Oh, look at he's crying. And then my mom said, wait a minute, my sweet. Can't you see? You have skin like velvet fudge frosting mixed in a bowl. You can lick the spoon. Cotton candy hair, soft to touch of my fingertips, or braids like rows of corn with a twist. And your smile, she says, makes me so happy I could cry. No amount of money could buy how it makes me feel. For real, it's perfect. Look, she says, look in the mirror and love what you see. Chocolate me! Chocolate me! Oh. Do you know what? I have to show you something. Hmm. I started to think about my face, my skin, my nose, my froze. Chocolate me! He's saying a little more excited now, isn't he? And what do you know? Along came Timmy and Johnny and Mark, who suddenly didn't seem so smart. And I started to smile and smile and smile. It felt so good. I could taste it. Why? Because I am chocolate. Chocolate is sweet. Chocolate is smooth. Chocolate is beautiful and delicious. Chocolate is, what does that say? Me, chocolate me. Oh, look at his friends. Oh, he gave them all a chocolate cupcake and they realized he's a pretty cool guy. Aw, oh, thanks for reading that story with me. I love that story. Speaking of the way things look, did you ever think the way the moon looks up, up there? Well, we're gonna sing a song about a moon. But by the way, before we do, did you guys know what this is? It's a ladle, isn't it? And what do you use a ladle for? Right, maybe mom uses it to dish out soup to you, or stew, or chili. Well, if you have a ladle in your house, put this video on pause and go run and get it, because our next song, we're gonna play upon a ladle. So go get your ladles. See you in a minute. Did you get your ladles? Are you back? Great. Well, we're going to sing the song Ache and Drum. And it all starts like this. This is a moon. It starts like this. There was a man lived in the moon, in the moon, in the moon. There was a man lived in the moon, and his name was Ache and Drum. Okay, you got your ladles? Here we go. He played upon a ladle, the ladle, a ladle. He played upon a ladle, and his name was Ache and Drum. By the way, if you don't have a ladle, you can just pretend and imagine you have a ladle. Well, now he has hair. Guess what his hair's made of? Can you tell? I'm not a great artist. It's spaghetti. His hair was made of spaghetti, spaghetti, spaghetti. His hair was made of spaghetti, and his name was Ache and Drum. And he played upon his ladle, his ladle, his ladle. He played upon his ladle, and his name was Ache and Drum. Oh, and he had eyes. He had two eyes. His eyes were made of meat. Meatballs, meatballs, meatballs. His eyes were made of meatballs, and his name was Ache and Drum. And he played upon his ladle, his ladle, his ladle. He played upon his ladle, and his name was Ache and Drum. Oh, and he had a nose, and his nose was made of, can you tell what that's supposed to be? It's cheese. 
His nose was made of cheese, cheese, cheese. His nose was made of cheese and his name was Egg and Drum. And he played upon his ladle, his ladle, his ladle. He played upon his ladle and his name was Egg and Drum. And he had a mouth and his mouth was made of, what do you think? Ah, Egg and Drum is falling down. And if you were here, you'd be laughing. It's a pizza. His mouth was made of pizza, pizza, pizza. His mouth was made of pizza, and his name was Egg and Drum. And he played upon his ladle, his ladle, his ladle. He played upon his ladle, and his name was Egg and Drum. That's a silly song, but it's a fun song that I sang when I was your age, when I was just a little kid. By the way, Maybe today you can make your ache and drum and sing. And you make it however you want, however you want it to look. Maybe at lunch today, you can make it with the food you're eating and you can sing. What could hair be made of with food? Other than spaghetti, macaroni, or maybe you're gonna use toys and you're gonna use Legos for maybe his eyes, his nose, his mouth, or your blocks, or I don't know. You be creative and you come up with your own ache and drum. Maybe you could draw a picture of it and then sing about it, or you can put it together like I put mine together and sing about it. Just be creative. Make it your own. All right, guys, I have another story for you. And there goes ache and drum just falling down, isn't he? Falling down on the job. Well, this next story is about two little children and they get a puppy dog. And it's called Please, Puppy, Please by Spike Lee and Tanya Lewis Lee. And the pictures are by Kadar Nelson. And I want to thank Simon & Schuster for publishing this story so I could read it to you today. Please, Puppy, Please. This is about two children that get a puppy and they're trying to train him. But I don't know. It might be a little hard. Let's see. Let's see what they do. Here we go. Do any of you have puppies out there or dogs? Stay inside today. Puppy, puppy, please, puppy. Look at the puppy. Do you think he wants to stay inside? Look at their faces. Oh, she's smiling. He kind of looks, hmm. Outside? Let's go play. Puppy, puppy, please. Uh-oh, does puppy have something in his mouth? Wonder what it is. I hope it's not one of their toys. Oh, away from the gate, puppy, puppy. Please, puppy. Uh-oh, is the puppy gonna get out of the gate? Look at, what are the children doing? Looks like they're running, aren't they? Do you think they're gonna catch their puppy dog? Let's see. Oh, wait, puppy, wait, please, please. There goes their puppy. Oh no, look at them run. Oh, it looks like their dad's in the background. There goes the puppy, there's the chase. Come back here, don't go. Puppy, puppy, please, puppy. Do you think the puppy's going to come back to them? I don't know, let's see. In the mud, puppy. Oh no, puppy, puppy, please. What happens when the puppy rolls in the mud? What do you think they're going to have to do? Let's see. Did you guess bath? You were right. Rub a dub dub, please, please. Puppy, puppy. Oh. Do you think the puppy's going to stay in the tub? Let's see. I think they're getting as wet and soapy as the puppy, don't you? Watch out for the cat. Puppy, please, puppy, please. Do you think the cat wants to get wet? 
Do you think the puppy's gonna shake and get that cat wet? Oh gosh, boys and girls, stand back. Goodness gracious, look at Oh no, don't do that, puppy, puppy, please, puppy, puppy. Oh, look, who gets wet? The cat. Did you get wet when the puppy shook? I think I did. Fetch me the ball. Puppy, 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 please. Do you think the puppy's gonna go get the ball? Shall we see? Do you think the puppy would bring it back? I have to tell you, my puppy's not a good fetcher. He gets the ball and keeps it himself. Come when I call. Puppy, please, 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 please. Look at the cat all wrapped up in a tail. Oh, look at the puppy. What does he have in his mouth? He has a red ball, doesn't he? Oh, you're doing just fine. Puppy, 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 puppy. Look at their smiles with their puppy. Even the puppy has a smile. Look at the cat. Do you think the cat's smiling too? Oh. Always be mine. Puppy, please. Puppy, please. Oh. That was a good story. Do you think that puppy's going to be trained? Do you think the puppy's going to listen? I think so. They're very good at taking care of their puppy. Well, I have one more little thing I want to do with you. This is one of my favorite ones. It's kind of a silly rhyme. It starts with like this. Can you help me count how many pumps my camel has? Okay. One. Two, three, four, five. Oh, and that's not a hump, is it? That's his back. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is Sally, and she's a camel, and she has five humps. So we're gonna sing this song together, and you might wanna stand up, because you're gonna have to do some running, because Sally likes to run, just like the puppy liked to run in the story. Okay, here we go. Sally the camel has five humps, five humps, five humps. Sally the camel has five humps. Run, Sally, run. Oh no, she ran so fast, she lost one of her humps. Now how many humps does Sally have? Four. Sally the camel has four humps, four humps, four humps. Sally the camel has four humps. Run, Sally, run. Uh-oh, she ran so fast again and she lost another one. <gasps> now, how many does she have? Three, that's right, because four, take away one, is three. Sally the camel has three humps, three humps, three humps. Sally the camel has three humps. Run, Sally, run. Uh-oh, she lost another hump. Now, how many humps does Sally have? Two because three take away one is two. Sally the camel has two humps, two humps, two humps. Sally the camel has two humps. Run, Sally, run. Oh no, she lost another hump. Now how many humps does Sally have? One. Sally the hand camel has one hump, one hump, one hump. Sally the camel has one hump. Run, Sally, run. Oh, now how many humps does she have? Oh. Sally the camel has no humps, no humps, no humps. Sally the camel has no humps because she is a horse, of course. That was just silly, wasn't it? Hey guys, I had so much fun with you today. I hope you will make your own ache and drum today. I hope you'll read some fun stories at home about children today. 
but right now it's time to tickle the clouds. Tickle, 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 tickle. Tickle your toes. Tickle, 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 tickle. Turn around and tickle your nose. Reach down really, really low. Reach up really, really high. Story time's over. Wave goodbye. Bye, boys and girls. Make it a great day. Goodbye.